Okay, so this is going to be the second of three projectile motion problems. In the previous uh, one, in uh, video 3J, we did a uh, football throw from a soccer field. And so, in this one, we're going to do a basketball. And this is going to reference uh, videos 3 K and 3L. Okay, and so uh, 3L, well 3K shows some people play a knockout and then 3L shows just one made throw from the free throw line in that video. And uh, we're going to have to make some assumptions here. Uh, some things we can measure, other things we have to estimate. And again, we're going to start off with a horizontal distance. We're going to start off with a horizontal chart and a vertical chart. X, T, V, I, V, F, A, and X, T, V, I, V, F, A. Now, what do we know for sure? Okay. Well, going back, we know that the horizontal acceleration is 0 meters per second squared, and the vertical acceleration is going to be negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Now, I measured on the video that it's uh, about 29 frames for, the, in, for the, the basketball to go from the hand to the hoop, and so we're just going to call that, at 30 frames per second, we're going to call that one second, one second. Okay, and we're going to assume that, um, let's just say that the ball was released from the height of seven feet, and the the rim is is uh, ten feet off the ground. That's about a three foot difference, and uh, we're just going to round it just to make things uh, easier on ourselves because we're pretty much estimating anyways. So we're going to say that it travels a horizontal, uh, I'm sorry, a vertical distance of one meter. So it ends up one meter above where it was released from. And uh, we're going to assume that the stripe was in the correct spot. And if the stripe was in the correct spot and all the geometry works out, the horizontal distance that it should have traveled should be in the neighborhood of 4.2 meters. Okay, so uh, let's just go over here for the horizontal because uh, the horizontal is going to be really pretty easy. Uh, X equals VIT plus one half AT squared and that's going to be my horizontal. And so we say um, Again, that's going to be zero, so we have 4.2 meters equals VI 1.0 seconds plus zero because of that is going to make all that zero. And so we're going to say VI horizontal is going to be 4.2 meters per second. Pretty easy. And so then we're going to go on to the vertical, and the vertical is probably going to take a little bit more time, so we'll spend a little bit more time. Okay. We have x equals vit plus one half at squared. And so we have one meter equals vi one second plus one half negative nine point eight one meters per second squared and one second squared okay well that's actually not all that bad okay so now that's going to be one meter equals vi one second and that's going to be minus 
uh, meters. If you look at that, it's just going to be meters because we have meters divided by second squared times second squared. So the one over second squared and the second squareds cancel, and we just have that's meters. So we have uh, 5.905 meters equals vi 1.0 seconds. And so VI vertical is going to be 5.9 meters per second. Okay, so now that allows us to calculate an initial speed and a, a uh, well, initial velocity, we'll call it. So, again, will go 5.9 meters per second and 4.2 meters per second and then we're going to do Pythagorean theorem uh, let's see let's just jump right in there with that so it's going to be 5.9 meters per second squared plus 4.2 meters per second squared equals c squared so I'm just going to take the square root of both sides of that hang on 5.9 squared plus 4.2 squared I'm going to get 7.2 meters per second. And then I'm going to say that tangent theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, which means that um, theta equals the tan inverse of opposite over hypotenuse and that's going to equal tan inverse of 5.9 meters per second divided by 4.2 meters per second and so I'm going to do that out here So shift tan 5.9 divided by 4.2. I'm going to get 54.5 degrees, so call it 55 degrees. Okay. So, in other words, when that basketball was thrown at the hoop, it traveled along a parabolic trajectory and the initial speed or I'm sure, I, sorry let's say that the initial velocity the initial velocity of the basketball was 7.2 meters per second at an angle of 55 degrees and we're going to come back and in the next video we're going to uh, switch it up we're going to give some we're going to start instead of working back from the initial speed instead of working back to the initial speed in the angle we're going to look at a student throwing a snowball off of a cliff and we're going to work from the initial velocity to the horizontal distance okay